What's up guys, this is Alex here from 814 ADC and today I have my full review of the second knife that Jake over at Bearded Gear sent me on loan and that is the Giant Mouse Ace Grand. Now I'm going to say it right off the bat, I, I did like the Grand more than the Ace Biblio. Um, it just it fit me more, I just liked a little bit more about it. Um, and again, not to say anything bad about the Biblio because I thought that was a good knife too, I just kind of enjoyed the Grand more. So, so jumping right into materials. We have this big, nice drop point style blade. Kind of has like a little bit of a harpoon point up here. Um, I just really like the overall design of it. Um, kind of has that crown spine, jumping up top there again, which is notorious for Giant Mouse. Uh, I, just, I just really like the overall design of the blade. I think it looks really, really nice. Has that nice Ace logo there. Um, otherwise, it's not marked, but I did confirm that this is LMAX steel. Uh, that's what they sold these in, which I think it's my first, yeah, I believe this is my first experience with Ace, or Ace, with LMAX. Um, and when Jake sent me these, he did say that I could cut a little bit with them because they are users. And I did put it through some cardboard and stuff like that, took down some boxes, and it, it did really, really well. Um, it's a, it's not an overly thick blade, but it's a, it's a flat ground, I believe. Again, I'm not good with the grinds on knives. I just can never tell the difference if I'm being completely honest, but I believe it's a flat ground. Um, it, it's a decently thin edge, uh, not like super, super thin, but good enough. Um, jumping into scales, we have these really nice micarta scales that, as you can tell, have taken the oils from Jake's hands, and I, I know he sent this out before, so it's had a lot of people touch it and you know add their own kind of personal touch to it, which is cool. I really like micarta for that, so it's kind of gotten to this, uh, you know, kind of darker micarta. It was definitely lighter when Jake got it, uh, I can tell you that. We have a loop over style deep carry clip, which is, I, I wish I did this on the Biblio. I have the Biblio right here because I just filmed the video. And I wish they would have done this on the Biblio. I think that they could have easily moved that back a little bit and made it true deep carry, but that's one of the reasons why I like the Grand so much is... I mean, it literally goes to the butt end of the knife, rides super well in pocket for kind of a bigger knife. Um, for me, at least, this is a bigger knife, so I'm really glad they did that. Uh, it has a nice, I believe this is titanium backspacer with a little bit of jimping, and then they uh, added the, um, what's what I'm looking for? Lanyard hole. Here, I love, uh, similar to my F5.5, I love when they add lanyard holes to the back spacer and incorporate it in the knife instead of just sticking a hole randomly towards the back and don't really think about it as much. So I'm glad they did this. I think it looks, I'll never use a lanyard, but I think it looks aesthetically pleasing just to have that back there. And yeah, uh, this is the only method to open this are the holes right here, which again, I forget the technical name. To, I don't think it's a teardrop. Um, I forget what people have called these. But... So I guess, well, one more thing, liners. Uh, these are nested, nest, nestled, nested, nested liners. And they look really, really good. There's no uh, skeletonizing at all. So this is a decently, you know, it's a, it's a good brick in your hand sort of feeling, but it feels good, uh, which we'll get into with ergos. But um, we're gonna jump into action next. So obviously, like I said, you have these holes here. And so you can either thumb flick it or middle finger flick, which I'm just gonna jump right into middle finger flicking because it is it is tuned really, really well with this knife. You just get a good purchase here and flies right out. I That's another reason why I like this over the Biblio is it's just a little bit, with maybe the bigger blade, it just comes out a tad bit easier and it's just so addictive. Um, thumb flick. Still really good, gives you a really nice sound when it locks in, which is another perk I think of having good sounding knives. Um, yeah, but the middle finger flick is where it's at, especially because it's just this bigger blade and it just comes right out of there. Uh, I've sat and I've flicked this in my desk a lot when I've been watching YouTube and uh, doing homework and stuff like that. It's just really, really fun to do. I like how the liner lock, it's a liner lock, I don't know if I said that in the materials, but I like how the liner lock's kind of like curved a little bit here. I think that's kind of a unique looking thing. To me it is at least, I've never experienced it has kind of a curve going up. And I can get real good purchase in there, drop the blade, 
and it's super smooth. Um, I know, like I said, this has been uh, loaned out to a couple of different people, and Jake's used it a good amount. So I figured the the action would be broken in really well. But yeah, I just hit it or hit the liner lock. It hits the Tangla blade here, hits my thumb, and all you really do have to do is just hit, take one shake, and it just drops. Super, super smooth. Very classy. Um, just really fun to play with and really satisfying to use. So, yeah, opening action, really good. Closing action, really good. Next, we're going to go over Ergos. Um, as you can see, you know, it's it's a fairly, it's a neutral sort of handle, but it kind of tapers off back here where it gets a little bit fatter. But I can get four fingers on here very, very easily. Um, one thing that I do wish they did, so as you can see here, there's kind of this area right here where it's like, the blade, but then there's some of the micarta. If they would have taken that and made it more rounded off and straight off for like kind of a landing choil for your finger, oh, this, this would have been just such a better ergo experience for me. And it's it's already really good. Um, you know, just four fingers on here, has a nice jumping up top there. And, you know, I get a good purchase on here, but I, I just wish they would have made this more straight so your finger can land here when you're trying to do like you know more intense tasks or open a package or something like that it just that's where my my middle or my middle my pointer finger wants to fall a lot of the times it just wants to you know when i pick up the or when i when i open it like my my finger's already right there and i just want to fall into that grip but so i don't know in the future if they would want to do something like that but i think it would be a really cool addition to it just to, like I said, round that off, make it kind of straighter, just a good landing point for your finger. I, I think that that would have been a really, really nice addition to this knife. But working with what I have, Ergos, again, really good. You can get all four fingers on there. Uh, good in really any grip. Um, you know, I can't, can't really say anything bad about the, the grip at all. So, um, yeah, Ergos is really, really good. Next, we're going to go over Carry. And, you know, carries also pretty well. For how big the knife is, it's kind of thick as well. Um, it's definitely not a thin knife or a very lightweight knife. But having that loop over style pot clip that goes all the way to the top of the knife, it makes it so much better to carry. It just disappears down in your pocket. Um, it's nice because you don't have anything sticking out here like a jimping or a flipper tab down here with any jimping that's going to catch your hand whenever you go in and out of your pocket. And, you know, it carries well. It is reversible, which is nice. Um, so lefties can use this as well. So they're not, you know, leaving you guys out, which I know you guys feel left out a lot. But yeah, it's reversible and carries really, really well. I don't really have anything bad to say about this, uh, really in any of my categories. It's just a good knife. And that's going to lead me to price point, which, um, you know, I do remember this price more than the Biblio because I was a little bit, I didn't really know what a certain price on the Biblio went for, but I think I just looked at these and it's like 189 or something like that in that price range. Uh, and I, I do, again, I think it's a justifiable price for these knives. They're really, really well built. Um, you know, when I first picked this up and I started flipping with it and I started kind of holding it and getting in my grip, my first thought was, you know, this would be, this, like if you're out hiking or going camping, this is like a, this is a folder you want to find in your pocket. Uh, it just feels really well built. It feels just solid. It feels like it wants to be out in the woods doing different things. Um, that, to me at least, that's my first, or that was my first thought on it. So I just, it feels like it's meant to be in a hiker's pocket or a camper's pocket or something like that. And I know Jake has taken this on a plenty of hikes and he, he likes to use it outdoors. So, but yeah, uh, price point, I do think it's justified. I think you're getting. You know, you're getting really nice micarta, you're getting LMAX, a great pocket clip, um, just a good ergonomic knife, you know, good in the hand, good action. So I, I just think, I do think it's justifiable and I do think it's worth it. Um, I would buy this, I'd rather have this in my collection than the Ace Biblio, I think, just because I like it better. It fits my hand a little bit better. It's more fun to play with, I think. 
Um, so yeah, it is a really, really good knife. But that being said, I don't think I'm gonna buy one. I, I don't think I'm gonna get this in my collection. Because one thing that I have noticed, or that I kind of made a comparison between the two, I feel like I already have that knife, or this knife. Because I have the Civivi Riffle, which is a really, really good knife. Uh, people are touting this as budget knife of the year. I still need to do my full, uh, full review on it, but it's really good, guys. And one thing that I've noticed is that it is basically, I think, a poor man's giant mouse Ace Grand. I mean, look at those similarities. You have kind of the same, I mean, they're, ba they're basically the same length of a blade. You have a hole for deployment. They kind of taper off back here. I mean, at the end of the night, they kind of go, both go to like this. And I, I just think that they look too dang similar. Pot clip looks the same. They just, try to put this in this hand. They just look really, really similar. And that's why I'm dubbing the riffle as the poor man's ace grand. Um, obviously, you know, with the giant mouse, you're going to get better materials because you're going to get 14C28N on this as compared to LMAX, which nothing against 14C28N, but LMAX is a better steel. Um, but, I mean, you're getting a little bit thicker of handles and a little bit thicker of something to hold on to, but you, you can't look at these and tell me that they don't kind of remind you of the like of each other. You know what I mean? So, I just... I really wanted the Grand for the longest time, um, and I, I really like it. Like, don't don't take me, f or don't take that like as in the wrong way, because I really like the knife. I just think that if you are thinking about getting that, go pick this up and see if you like this first, because it is so similar. You know, handle like ergos, you kind of get locked in both ways, and like I said, it's just. I mean, I just think the blades look really similar in size, and it's a line of lock and hole for opening and stuff like that. I just think it's, the similarities are too striking to think otherwise, so. But this is a giant mouse review, not a uh, CVV. I just wanted to get my point in there, because um, I did, I thought that was a pretty cool comparison, but yeah. So if you're on the fence about it, and you really want it in your collection, don't hesitate. Go get it. It's a really good knife. If you're into outdoors, if you're into, maybe you work on a farm, or maybe you're, like, if you're outdoors doing something a lot, hiking, camping, uh, just anything really outdoors, I think that this is a great knife to throw in your pocket. Um, it's really robust. It's, it has a good weight to it. It just feels really, really well built in hand, and I have to applaud Giant Mouse for that, so... Yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Um, I, I I do like it. Um, I just don't think it's it's a necessary need for me when I already have a knife that is super similar to it, and I just don't think I need to add it to the collection. But I am glad again that I got to check these out. So thank you, Jake, for sending these out to me. Um, I really appreciate you, dude. Uh, I will leave a link to Jake's channel and his. Uh, Instagram page down below. Go check him out. He's a great, good, uh, great dude. A good friend at this point. Um, so yeah, guys, just go check him out. If you already haven't, I'm pretty sure you probably know who Jake is at this point. So um, yeah, that's about all I have to say about this. Uh, thank you so much for stopping in to check out my channel and for watching this video. And I'll, guys, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. As you can tell, I, I don't film too many videos in a row often because I get kind of jumbled up with my words. But we're trying, guys. We're busting these out. So thank you so much for stopping back in and for checking out my video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.